Hey, what's up guys? I'm Break Torton and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with Communist China. Alright, that is a beautiful China right there, man. And sexy. Uh, so, we've got all China under our control uh, and we're going to conquer Tibet next. And then uh, we're going to be working on uh, the J Japanese. Now, one of the questions I've seen a lot uh, is, are we going to help the Soviets out? And I had said, you know, that I, I figured they were going to be defeated before we ever finished up in China. Uh, so therefore, we probably weren't going to help them out. They're pretty close to being defeated, guys. Uh, we might be able to send some troops over here in time to save them. Uh, but the supply is going to be garbage here, so it's going to be costly equipment-wise. It detracts from my main focus of the campaign, which is defeating Japan and, and taking over China. So I kind of just want to concentrate on, and we could go on a faster speed as well, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be going up to speed 5, in fact. Uh, we can sit on speed 5 and, and just kind of build up and, and get ready to do this invasion here. Uh, if we if we don't fight here. And the supplies, as again, the supply is going to be garbage. Uh, the Germans are powerful. More than likely, we might be able to push them back, but I don't know, guys. It would be extremely costly and time-consuming um, as far as the episodes go. It would take a lot of time. I'd have to really focus on it because the Germans are going to be a tough, tough enemy. Uh, so it's just not worth it to me. We're not at war with the Germans. Uh, we're not at war with the rest of the, or with the Axis faction at all. Uh, and I would kind of prefer to keep out of it if we can. Uh, it's just not the concern. Uh, why are we helping the Allies to destroy them? I just don't see the point. And I don't look at them as a threat to me, even if they are up on our borders up here. I still don't really look at them as a threat to me. In fact, I'd probably rather declare war on the Soviet Union, if anything, uh, declare war on them, and instead uh, conquer this territory here. Uh, would be the more beneficial thing to do. We unfortunately can't do that. That's not really an option. I'd have to leave the faction, and we can't leave the faction, unfortunately, not until Japan's defeated. So yeah, I just don't care, uh, and I just don't want to do it. Uh, so we're not going to. Uh, we're going to focus on our, our goals here, the goals we set out, which was not to help in Europe. Uh, so what would it, we're going to do... Actually, let's do this. There's a different way to do this. We're going to take the entire blue army and put them into the yellow army. And so they can help with the garrison defense... Uh, we'll let these guys complete this here, uh, but let's just tell the rest of them to just uh, stop their orders. Let's just have everybody stop their orders here temporarily. Let them go. Uh, go ahead and join uh, the border force here. Uh, and then once they get their places, we're going to start training them. Uh, and then this one army that is here, we're going to have them take the railroads over to here so that we keep the blue army around. Uh, and maybe even start doing the planning bonus. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that yet. Although, we're probably going to try and invade over here. Again, we talked about that last episode. Uh, but let's get all these troops moved around here. Just go on to speed 5. I guess I should probably take a look and make sure everything else is going fine before I go flying through the times here. Uh, yeah, we look pretty good on everything. So let's just let it fly. Uh, we have completed this here. And I don't know if we have these guys assigned. They are assigned to cover that. So they should start covering these ports here now. Uh, we can go to get our planes... Uh, out from where they're at. Uh, let's get a new tech first, though. We got the maintenance companies. Uh, excellent. So, did we have? It looks like we didn't have those before. So we'd have to add those to the armies. I don't know why I was thinking I had maintenance companies. Uh, so, do we want to continue to get those? You know, there's a lot of other stuff that we need right now. Could get the logistics. Um, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff that we need. So we're gonna work on getting those right now. Uh, let's take a look at the plane situation. Today. We're getting those. I am going to get tactical bombers. I'm not saying I'm not going to do that. In fact, tactical bombers will probably be our replacement for close air support. We probably won't use close air support. So we'll probably use our tactical bombers combined with our naval bombers to help defeat the Japanese Navy. Um, so we will get them, and then we can then transition those tactical bombers to be our close air support. So that way we don't have to get all three. Uh, we'll just do the naval bombers and tactical bombers, guys. Could start getting the air doctrines. Uh, that'd be helpful. Could start getting these. Uh, and... We're already working on that, all right, which is definitely something that we need here uh, pretty soon. Let's do the air doctrines. Um, so we need to decide what we want to do here. Uh, Battlefield support, operational integrity, or the strategic destruction. Obviously, we're not going to do strategic destruction. Uh, though we could use our tactical bombers to do strategic bombing on the Japanese. That is an option. So we'll, we'll go down the operational integrity since we are getting tactical bombers. And, you know, uh, this has a lot of bonuses for them that help them. And most importantly, you get the naval uh, bonus here a little bit quicker than you do this one. As you can see, it's it's not much quicker, but it's slightly quicker, which is, I mean, it probably won't even play a role. Uh, it's going to take us a long time to get down there. And we're not going to use the air experience either. Nah, we're not going to use the air experience. So yeah, it's going to take a long time to get down. It's, 
Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll go down this route. Uh, also, if we're not using close air support, yeah, it just makes more sense. We'll just go down this route. And uh, this is going to take 150 days uh, to get that knocked out. And I'm ignoring this. I don't want that. Uh, so just trying to help out our, our air force. Uh, oh, yes, that's right. I was going to move the fighters. Let's take a look at... I don't really know where we'll... We'll probably just move them up here, but we're not going to use them or anything yet. Uh, just to stop them from doing anything right now. Just put them in Korea for for at the moment. Uh, yeah, there's no real reason to use them anywhere. Yeah, so we're just gonna move them over here. We'll actually probably train them. Yeah, I suppose we can train them up. That's what we'll do. Uh, so let's take these guys up to uh, 200, and then we'll put them onto the training mission, pilot exercises, get their experience up. Yeah, that'll be useful. Okay. So uh, we got a lot of troops done training. So let's go and take all these guys and put them into this yellow army. Uh, we'll also go ahead and take, we should probably, if we're not facing supply issues here, which we might be, we are not. Let's go ahead and put these guys into here. And we could always take some of these troops that we added here, just take a couple of them, like the ones that are already moving, and just get this up to 24. Might as well, they're not doing anything over there, except for protecting uh, ports. And once they get all moved around, we'll be able to train the rest of these guys up. Uh, and we can go ahead and design our uh, divisions, change up our divisions, use the rest of this army experience. Uh, so let's see what we want to do here. Uh, I want to make sure that they have all their equipment. So I, I don't know that I want to give them logistic companies. I suppose we can. They have, or we could give them anti-air so they have a little bit uh, more heavy attack. The heart attack, I mean. Excuse me. Yeah, you know what? We'll probably go ahead and give them support anti-air. Let's save that. I know that's going to cost us since we don't really have anti-air, but that's okay. Uh, and then these guys here, I, we should probably give them maintenance companies. Uh, so i got to find something to replace here. We could replace the field hospitals. I don't know why I added that. We don't really need the field hospitals. Uh, the experience bonus is, of course, nice, but yeah, we'll go ahead and change that up uh, and see if there's any other divisions. We're going to get rid of these ones here. I'm not using these anymore. It just confuses the shit out of me. See if there's anything else that we can do here. These guys are just our defensive troops, so we don't need to change them up. Uh, then we have this division that could use uh, something else. We'll do maintenance companies. Don't really need it, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, and, yeah, because, I mean, equipment. It's not really a major problem at this moment anymore. Uh, and there's any other ones that I can use a bit of experience for? Could always go ahead and design the motorized. I'm not going to build them just yet. We'll just wait. It's fine. I want to get this rolling. All right. So yeah, they'll keep on attacking over here, uh, and we'll have more divisions there to help out against these attacks, uh, so that they should be even less effective uh, from here on out. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to, to win there. This division, let's go and get the, the planning bonus going now, though I might end up having the yellow army attack. But you know what, it's fine. Let's do it anyways. I guess we'll do it from here. That looks like the closest port that we have access to, that we don't have to go through the seas. Like, I mean, we could attack from uh, the US base here, but we won't, we'll just attack from our own. I know that it would be better, but you gotta go across the seas anyway. So they might die all the way there. So we'll just do it here. It could very well end up dying. What is that to see? Uh, and for whatever reason, saying I can't assign them here. Not entirely sure why I can't assign them here, but the planning bonus will still be going. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why we can't. I know that we don't have the transports. Maybe it's just because we don't have the convoys. That could be it. Alright, well, it's fine. I think they still get the planning done. That's the only reason why I did it, is just so that they'll have the planning so that we can add a ton of divisions if we want to, and, and then they should be able to send uh, immediately as soon as the divisions get over there. Alright, so Metsuko did cancel to lend lease. Uh, most of our convoys are right now going towards uh, trade and supply. Let me take a look at the, uh, the, the supply situation. Uh, so we did get the next fighters, the J3s, and we are now done with fighters, and we can go and start working on tactical bombers. Really gonna have an air focus from here on out. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the tactical bombers next. We can do get those research bonuses as well. Uh, and let's go ahead and put the new fighters out there. Do we have a bit of air experience? Uh, probably not enough to do much here, guys. Uh, might be able to make a slight adjustment. Uh, we're just short to be able to make them a little bit better here. Well, we could just do one reliability and they lose a little bit of, they lose a little bit, but that's okay. You know what, I'm, I'm all right with this situation here. Well, we don't actually need 
the range. So we could do it that way. You know what? This is what we'll do for right now. We'll just use 90 of the air experience. And what we need to do... Okay, it's gone. Excellent. So let's decommission and these. Uh, what I was doing there is I was having a problem where the little light up here that tells you, you got new equipment wasn't going away. And somebody was telling me that they had experienced where if you, as soon as you get it, if uh, you build a, a new variant and then automatically add it to here, then it'll never go away. Uh, and so you need to like, you know, first get it to go away before you do that. I don't know if that was something to fix though, because that didn't happen that time. Uh, so let's see here. Let's get some equipment. And I want to make sure that we're not using any convoys for trading. Yeah, we're not using any convoys. It's just all going for supply, though. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, that's, that's, that's the same category. as uh, that, that must all be going. All those convoys must be going for uh, the equipment that our allies are sending us. I don't even know how many of them I have. How many of those deals I have because I'm, I wasn't really paying attention to it. I was kind of letting it go and just accepting all the ones they offer. Uh, so let's see here. Anti air is still short. Uh, so let's pump into anti air then for right now. Uh, we do have the ability to modify our government, get a chief of navy. And why the hell not? Let's do it, guys. Uh, let's get a decisive battle. That's the best option there for us. Wasn't there one that we wanted to switch? Let me just take a look here. I think it was, okay, it's this guy. We're going to switch him out. We, we don't have the, the guy yet. All right, so that's fine. Uh, and yeah, we'll just keep on accepting, uh, especially if they're convoy land leases. We'll accept them. We've been building a lot of convoys. We have 586 convoys, um, but it's not enough because of all the equipment that our allies are sending us. And yeah, they'll keep on doing these evasions, and now they're not going to have a chance uh, because we have more troops there. Uh, so I think everybody is assigned now. We'll just let them keep throwing themselves up against us. Uh, and we're going to do the, the Tibet one next. Uh, we want to conquer Tibet. All right. Uh, so we'll take care of that and then allow us to declare war on Tibet. Uh, and there was something else I said I was going to... Oh, yes, that's right. We're going to go ahead and start training troops here. Uh, any troops that need training, uh, we're just going to get them training, get us some experience up there. Uh, I don't know if this will cause any problems. Probably will. Cause some, uh, some problems with us not being able to control the entire region. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. Let's throw these guys in there. Uh, we actually have more troops here that can come over here now and help us out. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Probably might cause some issues. They might get an invasion done, a successful invasion. We'll set the sea. Uh, we're control. We still have the the divisions there, which they've been attacking there, and yeah, they've been attacking along here as well, or right there, and we have divisions there, so we're good to go. Uh, they didn't didn't get any openings from me doing that, and we're gonna have these guys trained up probably fairly quick. Uh, you know, this shouldn't take. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too long to get them all trained up. All right, we got the synthetic oil experiments. Excellent. That's exactly what I needed. Let's go and focus on the fuel gain from refiners. We need to get both. We do need, we have rubber issues and oil issues, but we'll do the, the oil ones first. Uh, we'll do one oil one and then we'll go for the, the rubber one. And we will go ahead and start building those now. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some synthetic refineries. Uh, so probably put them, so we'll put them over here. I know that this is a, uh, 30%, so it's not as good of a bonus, but it's okay. All right. Oops. Didn't want to do that. Let's take all these down. And just focus on getting those built. Uh, we'll let them finish up with the construction here. Because they've already... Yeah, it's fine. We're on we're on speed five right now, so... Let's take a look at how the Soviets are doing. We can watch them during this time. They'll probably get defeated here very, very soon. Uh, unless they start pushing forward here. I can't tell what the hell is going on. We can see a little bit of the territory uh, because the Allies are helping them out. Oh, and everybody's canceling lend lease, which should net us some more convoys. Uh, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so, yeah, they're not going to be successful on those invasions, guys. Let's take a look at our research here. I'm waiting to get these naval bombers. So we're 41 days uh, away. We're also about to get the new tank. There we go. Excellent. Uh, the medium tanks. And we will not build them yet. We're going to go for the next model here. Let's keep on researching these. And good on war supports. We don't need to do any of these any longer. Uh, in fact, yeah, it doesn't look like we need to do any of these right now. All right. 
So we're just going to be stacking up the political power. I don't know what all we can do with it. I'm surprised that we can't build uh, with those decisions that let you get the resources. I think it's because we don't own it. So that might be another penalty, unfortunately, of not owning it. Uh, us getting screwed over in that peace treaty, which I'm still irritated about. Uh, so let's go ahead and place... I guess we're going to place all these in the, uh, that yellow army. You know, you can have up to 72 divisions, so, you know, more divisions, the less likely they'll be able to take any of these uh, ports from us. And all right, we'll send them where we please. And they keep sending those because we're not at war with them. And they keep on launching unsuccessful invasions. So pretty much what we're doing against the Japanese is what the Axis is doing against the Allies. Just letting them throw themselves up against your ports that are being defended. And, uh, you know, they just completely deplete their own manpower and equipment through that method. Uh, we do have a ton of divisions done. Let's go ahead and throw them over to those yellow armies then. All right, so yeah, all the ports should be very well defended. Uh, we could also go ahead and build up, make sure that they all have coastal forts, because I think there was a couple spots. We, yeah, it was this one right here. We were able to get a coastal fort. I say might as well get coastal forts in all of them, just up to level two, just to make it uh, even quicker with the invasions. And remember, we're not going to have that many divisions defending it forever. Uh, you know, there's uh, these, a lot of these divisions are going to be going on some suicide in invasions. Uh, not yet, though, guys. Let's just wait. Uh, just wait a little bit before we do it. I'd like to to get some naval bombers out there, kind of kind of gauge how the Japanese are doing. And we're on speed five right now. We've had a lot of battle, uh, many many episodes of battle. So one or two episodes of peace, flying through speed five, getting some stuff done, I think, is fine. Uh, we will go ahead and start building the naval bombers. Uh, you know, we're not going to build the the medium tanks, but just to get rid of that, we'll build it real quick. We will start building the naval bombers. Though, because, yeah, I want to start. I, we need to get these out there. Uh, so let's take a look at the equipment situation. Oh, man, we are so stacked. All right, so what we're going to do, let's go ahead and, and put those factories that we're going into the infantry equipment and have them instead go towards naval bombers. Uh, and can we pull from anything else? Probably, yeah. We can probably pull from a lot of this equipment. Uh, let's go ahead and just start pulling from it and just focus on getting... Man, yeah, we've, we are so stacked. Uh, just focus on getting the stuff that we need right now. We'll build a little bit of light tanks and we're going to start getting some units building for those as well. And just pump into naval bombers. Get this air force built up, guys. Try and build ourselves at least a respectable air force. Uh, we will need to trade um, for a lot of resources for this because we don't really have much. And we will trade with... That requires convoys. We don't want to do that. But I don't want to trade with any of them. I don't want to trade with the Axis, so we can avoid it. Let's trade with them. They have a little bit for us. All right, and then we need rubber. Let's go ahead and continue trading with them for the rubber for now. All right, there's something else I was going to do. Oh, yes, build units. That's right. Uh, we could build a ton of units. So let's just start pumping out units, guys. Because, uh, yeah, there's no reason not to. We'll get up to 20 there. And... Let's do motorized as well. We're gonna to need to design these guys. We haven't done that yet. Uh, this is just gonna be a mostly motorized infantry with some motorized artillery. Uh, we could also do motorized anti-air if we wanted to. That would cause further problems with the... Uh, we'll take a look and see what we wanna do here. Let's get the artillery in there first. And let me take... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do some motorized. Uh, anti-air get them up to 32 and then let's go ahead and add in these as well While I'm thinking about it still engineers recon these guys are all about speed we will do maintenance though and logistics hmm we'll do field hospitals might as well uh, we don't have anything else that's better right now because we already have anti-air and artillery in here, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I like this. This looks nice. Let's go ahead and add some more uh, motorized to get that efficiency up. All right, or excuse me, organization. I said efficiency. Uh, so we can do one more, and I think that's probably, yeah, let's just keep on doing motorized, man. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and say that. We need names for all these divisions, guys. Uh, we need a name for the motorized, uh, for these uh, armored, because uh, we're using them instead of this one here. We can, in fact, probably just get rid of this one. Yeah, just so we don't have this confusion here. 
So we can uh, name these guys. Uh, one of them can be named Snake. Yeah, uh, probably the motorized, in fact. Yeah, I guess that'd be the one we'd name Snake. Uh, so we'd have to have, oh, I don't know. What do you think would fit? Because, you know, we gotta have, like, we have the hidden, crouching, and rising. So we gotta have, you know, like an adjective or a verb or something like that uh, prior to it. So need a name for them, something Snake. Uh, and then we need a fresh name for the tanks here. Uh, so let's get some of them training since we do finally have some tanks. We can also train some more mountain troops. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, do we want to train all the, you know what? Actually, no. We might want to keep those special forces slots open if we want to do like paratroopers or anything like that. Uh, let's go ahead and take these guys. Give them. Get into the training army. Put them on top of there. And just see what we can get. All right, we can get three of them for right now. But we'll go ahead and build more because we're building up the tanks. In fact, let's just go and put up the, uh, five. And now that these guys are done, we can go ahead and get them built in as well. Let's put them on top here and get them going into the army here. All right, and we'll just build as many of these as we can. I mean, that looks pretty good. I know we're short on, on some things there, but it's okay. Uh, we're gonna get all that fixed, guys. In fact, let me just take a look and see how we look. All right, so you can see uh, that we are pretty short on some stuff here now. Uh, so we will need to re-add uh, some factories to these. Uh, so let's do more into the motorized. We're gonna need a lot of motorized. Let's just go up to 15 for the motorized. Uh, I'm doing pretty good on anti-air. We already have 15 towards them, so that's okay. All right, so yeah, this is this is good. That's fine for now. Uh, so we did get our national focus completed. Excellent. Uh, do we want to do, you know, we're not gonna do that right now. Uh, I think there was something else I said I was gonna do. I don't remember what it was. It wasn't the people's army. No, it wasn't that one. Did I say I might go down that route just so we can get rid of this, even without the faction? I think I did say we would do that. All right, so we'll, yeah, we'll probably go ahead and do that now. Although, getting the shipbuilding stuff would be useful too. So we can start researching these. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we should go ahead and start moving down this line. Though, I'm just, I, I really want to get, to get this here. You know, we're gonna go ahead and do it, and we'll just have to create our own faction, because uh, we don't know when we're gonna be able to leave the allies. So let's just get that knocked out, guys. It's about time. Uh, and then we're gonna get all these dudes here placed into that army. Excellent. So everybody should be all fully trained now. And soon, we're gonna have anybody to sit in the damn training army. And we'll, once again, we're gonna keep accepting these lend leases despite not having the convoys. It's okay. All right, we've got a lot of dockyards going into convoys, so I'm, I'm not too worried about it. And got a ton of troop training. Uh, we're gonna just be absolutely stacked on troops. And we're gonna have so many damn divisions because we're just 44 million manpower, guys. That's where we're at. Oh yes, I forgot that we got the uh, war goal against Tibet. So let's conquer them. And we're gonna call the allies in. Declare war. Um, and we are facing attrition all throughout here. I should have built up the infrastructure here. It's too late now for all that. But just in case we end up having trouble here, let's build it all the way up to three. I had completely forgot about the infrastructure problems that you might end up having there. So let's do that and just make sure that this gets completed because it was almost done. All right, so let's see if we can win here. Uh, could be tough. We'll see. I mean, they've been planning. They got planning bonuses, but they have entrenchment, so. Oh, they joined the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity League. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, they could have joined the Axis if they had. That would have been, that would have been bad. <laughs> I didn't even think about that fact, that if they had joined the Axis, then we would have been forced into the war against Germany. I wouldn't have a choice in the matter, but I guess eh, some people would be happy that it would have helped the Soviets in that particular case. Let's go ahead and throw these guys into here. Yeah, it's, it's fine. You know what, we'll take the tanks and put them over there. And then we'll just take the uh, these guys and put them over here right now. All right, so it does look like we are uh, winning most of these battles. Some of them are having some difficulties in. Uh, that one there. All right, and we're just gonna keep that on speed five because it should be pretty easy to get this done here. Uh, attack there, these guys are attacking there, okay. Defending there for right now, and let's go ahead and have these guys attack here. And we won there already, so let's go ahead and go here now. Good God. <laughs> All right, so we did fill this one. Uh, we're gonna do the attack again, though. 
Should be able to win it. It looks like we're not gonna need the, uh, yeah, we're not gonna need these. I suppose what we could do is just let it. I mean, you never know what might end up happening here. Well, we'll just take it down, it's fine. Let them build up, because it's such garbage anyway, and we've already worked on it, I don't wanna feel like I wasted it, so I'm gonna waste it some more. Uh, and why not do it against somebody? We'll do it against, yeah, so we don't wanna do it against them. Let's do it against Siam. We don't have anything else to use our political power for. Let's attack it this way. Having some difficulty taking that. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's attack this way then. Oh, looks like we don't need to have all those guys going there because we've already won there. All right, these are attacking that way. Let's have them attack over there then. And then attack that way. And just one division attack here. There we go. Now we know who needs to get assistance. All right, so this doesn't really get us a lot. A little bit of resources there, doesn't get us much. Uh, but obviously we lay claim to this area, it is ours. Uh, so had to be done, man. We had to attack them. We'll attack them there, actually. Let's have these guys attack here. And uh, we'll just get those guys there we go, it's done. And have this guy come over here. And just throw one of these guys into there so we can get them wrapped up quickly. And then attack here. Alright, so everybody's going that way. Alright, so should have this finished up very soon. Alright, and then Tibet will be ours. Um, they, they actually... Uh, Stick around a little bit longer than I was expecting them to. All right, so we're done there. Let's go ahead and have uh, the troops that are here train up. And then let's take, oh, looks like there's a division here that could actually go into the yellow army there. And then we're just gonna take these guys and let's just move them to Beijing, I suppose. All right, so Tibet has been finished up. Oh, we will need to occupy that. I didn't think about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get them uh, garrisoned over here. Yeah, because we will have to garrison that. We don't have core territory there. All right, so garrison that up. Give our yellow army a little something more to do. Uh, we completed oil processing. Excellent. Um, let's do the rubber processing next. Uh, again, we don't have any of those. Uh, and we have unfulfilled import requests. I would assume this has to do with the Soviets. Yes, it is with the Soviets. And... Let me see here what we can get from them. All right, we can get one more, and meaning that that's enough. Uh, so let's continue training with them for rubber. All right, resource situation is looking good then. And we did get the H1s. All right, so uh, we're not gonna get the tactical bombers yet. These are pretty cruddy. Let's just keep moving down this. Uh, five more days, we'll get that one knocked out. Uh, so we'll keep on going down the air doctrines, make our planes even better. All right, should start flying through that tech tree now that we have the, the five tech slots. We have pretty much all the land tech, so we can really just start focusing on air, and then we'll be able to start doing the naval ones as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get the 200 days to get that one started. Let's help our Navy out, or Air Force out, I mean. All right, so I'm not seeing any more naval invasions and no more planning for naval invasions either. No idea what the Japanese are currently doing. That's interesting, They're not, they have completely canceled all their naval invasions. I'm a little bit surprised by that. I don't know if that happened. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know if that happened with the Tibet thing. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we won't be able to do this as long as we have all those uh, all of our all of our convoys going to giving us resources. But we'll keep it going uh, for right now. I'd assume they'd start canceling as we kind of built this out. I mean, we are doing like fantastic on so much equipment right now. In fact, we could probably just pull back on the infantry equipment so that we can really focus on uh, building out the the planes right now. And yeah, again, we'll get this going like that, and then just cancel it. All right, so yeah, it should fly through 1945 here, uh, and yep, we'll accept the convoy offers for sure. And yeah, uh, we're pretty much, uh, well, what are these guys doing? Let's have the tanks move on over to here. I'll move right there so they can 
Uh, we actually probably won't send them on the naval invasion. Tanks don't typically do too well in naval invasions. Uh, take a look at our stockpile of planes. Uh, we do have 100 naval bombers now. So let's go ahead and get uh, them flying out there. Also, I'm sure these fighters are done training. So let's have more train. Uh, remember, we built that all the way up to 2000. And as you can see, allies did end up going there. Uh, so let's go and train more fighters in. Uh, the fighter twos here. And then we're going to want to go ahead and put some naval bombers out here. I should have already done all this, but... Whatever. Uh, oh, now we have fighter threes as well. All right, and then naval bombers. All right, so we might have to build another air base uh, because they put the allies put so many fucking planes here. I knew that was going to end up being a problem though. And we're going to train them up uh, before we start bombing. Let's get the experience up before we start taking losses. It's fine. Get their experience up and. Uh, They'll do even better against the, the Japanese Navy. I don't know how many ships the Japanese Navy has less left. Let's just take a look. Um, they still have a lot. Uh, so let's see what we can do there. Uh, so we got that one knocked out. It didn't really do much for us. Uh, but this one here will change our name. And then, of course, will give us access to the one that we've been wanting for a while now. Uh, so keep turning these damn things down. All right. But yeah, I expect to get uh, into 1946 in this episode. And are these guys done? These guys are done, so let's pull them back on that, and then we'll we'll wait to send them out there until we have our naval bombers trained up. And just keep our eyes on the stockpiles. We can actually get more fighters uh, training up, so might as well. We're gonna need the fighters against the Japanese, uh, especially if we want to do a pair drop, which I'm kind of considering doing. I didn't think we were gonna build those fighters up so quick, but yeah, we're doing all right. Uh, and we're just gonna keep on getting these before we start building them. Uh, so. I said I was going to do something, and I don't remember what. Oh, yes, that's right. We're going to add more planes here. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get another line of fighters. And it looks like they're all older fighters. Okay, that's fine. And it doesn't matter if they're not exact, because they do uh, eventually they'll upgrade themselves. So it doesn't matter if we put the older ones out there. All right, just chain up. This gives us uh, some handy air experience as well that we can make use of. Okay, looking pretty good. So, yeah, you can see that they have their planes out there. So we will have to support our naval bombers with the fighters. Uh, but let's first, as I said, let's get all these guys trained up. They should be able to do it fairly quickly. And uh, once we have have them trained up and uh, looking good on experience, uh, then we'll pump them out there and see if we can't get some, some Japanese ships destroyed. Uh, but overall, we're probably just gonna do a suicide invasion over here. Uh, but we don't have any convoys yet. I, I'm going to have to cancel some of those lend lease offers. Yeah, we're probably going to have to cancel some of those. Because, yeah, we are using, like, all of our convoys uh, on those at the moment. Uh, so let's see how we're doing here. Uh, we're getting some of these synthetic refineries uh, completed here. Uh, so this should be uh, pretty helpful for our oil uh, fuel situation. But you notice that we're already about to hit the, the, the peak there. So the max. Uh, let's go and get these guys popped into there uh, so we might want to go ahead and, and get ourselves some fuel silos because yeah, we don't have any any fuel silos at the moment uh, so it would be helpful let's put one there as well a nice 90 percent bonus there all right and in fact we'll go ahead and have the fuel silos building before that one starts so they can really start stockpiling this for when we got all of our planes out there uh, then we're also going to start building ships eventually, man. Uh, we don't really have any models uh, at this moment, moment to build, but we're going to start getting that. I wanted to focus on the air first, and then we'll start doing uh, ships. Let's go to get... We're doing all right on oil for right now, so let's do the rubber since we are trading for that so we can get some of our civilian factories back. All right. And are we doing our resources? Ooh. Soviets ain't got shit for us. All right, we're going to have to pull that back drastically. I mean, not that drastic. And we'll have to continue trading with other powers. I really don't want to trade with the Axis, but I don't want to give any of my convoys out. It doesn't really give us a lot of options. Um, yeah, that's... Yeah, that, that's, that sucks. The only ones we have a land connection with, I guess, is the Axis. All right. Um, hmm. That's a shame. Uh, well, Switzerland has a little bit. Could always trade with them. Uh, is there anybody else to trade with that doesn't require convoys and isn't part of the Axis? I don't think so, guys. I think we're going to have to to trade with them, unfortunately. All right, well, that is what it is. 
We won't trade with the Germans, though. They don't need any more assistance. The Hungarians, frankly, are, are going to have plenty enough here. And I think, yeah, that's good enough. Although, we'll go in and get them maxed out. So we're not affecting our efficiency any. Uh, same thing here. Because, yeah, we still have a good amount of civilian factories. All right, so I don't know what Britain's doing, what their damn focus is. Oh, nice. Look at this. The Allies are, they got a victory here. They're pushing the, the Axis out of uh, Norway. All right, some progress. Opening up a new front. All right, that's good to see. Soviets are, I have no idea what's going on with Soviets. I don't remember where they're at. Uh, so we did get the Y2s done. Let's go ahead and get the Y3s now. Do we want to lose the efficiency for changing this up? Yeah, fuck it. I say screw it, let's get better ones. That might not have been wise. Uh, besides, it does require more resources too. Uh, such a bummer we gotta trade with these guys, man. Uh, you know what we could do? We could trade with the, the French. Uh, they're still part of the Axis, but we could kind of spread it out a little bit. And it does suck we have to trade with with uh, the enemies of our allies. Uh, but remember, the allies are not really our allies. Uh, oh, we are done here. All right, well, let's go and throw all these guys into this army. So we're not training needlessly. Yeah, we'll just probably take all of them. You know what? Why am I doing it that way? Just leave one division in there and just stop them from training or we could go and deploy these guys. Yeah, let's go and do that. Let's take a look at the equipment. We probably want to build some more stuff. Yeah, let's go and build some more guys out. Oops, my bad. Wrong hockey. Uh, let's go and build more dudes out. Uh, we'll build some more tanks out because I'm sure we're stacked on like tanks now. Build some more of these guys. In fact, let's go up to like 20, I guess. And like those nice round numbers. <laughs> and then like get like 15 here. It looks like we're short on some stuff. Okay. And then we'll just deploy all these guys so I can get all those troops out. Same thing here. I guess I could have pressed that one button there. <laughs> oh, it's so much easier. All right, let's get this guy blazed over here. And we're almost to the max here, the 72 division max. Uh, and we have some divisions here that uh, didn't, apparently did not have, I thought I'd done that. Oh, I did not. Oh, my bad. There we go. All right, so get all those guys training up, getting our experience uh, ticking up. And yeah, they're not launching any naval invasions anymore, which is kind of a bummer. That's not what I want to see, man. I want to be, uh, I want to be killing their dudes. But yeah, they're not attacking us at all. All right, that's interesting. They decided, I don't know what the Japanese are doing in that particular case then. They seem like they're being quite idle at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. All right, well, let's go ahead and cancel. So that, oh, there's a peace conference. The Soviets were just defeated. Soviet Union was defeated. All right. So Germany is on our borders. Uh, I'm not going to defend those borders unless we see a notification that we're going to get pulled into the war. That they're, they're going to, they're justifying against us. Yeah, even then, I doubt they'll put any troops up here. Uh, I mean, we could always create another army to do it if we need be. Uh, once we get all stacked up on here or something, we could always throw an army up there. Probably not here. Uh, maybe this one. Uh, we have proclaimed the People's Republic. All right, so we are now the People's Republic of China, and we can now get the socialist market economy. Excellent. Let's take a look at our construction, make sure we're not wasting. Yeah, we're not. Uh, we're almost done with the repairs, though. Uh, repairs are almost there. You know what? We're going to start turning down all the leases from here. I'm actually thinking about canceling them. I want to really consider doing some, doing that suicide naval invasion soon. Let's take a look at how our planes are doing. Oh, yeah, we might want to. People's Republic of China has been declared. Uh, we might want to go ahead and add another air wing up to here. Uh, whatever we have. Let me take a look and see how we're doing. Uh, let's do another air wing of fighters. And again, just get them uh, training up here. And then we're going to also increase these guys up to 100. All right. Slowly build them out. Uh, motorized is still lacking by a lot. Uh, some of this stuff we probably don't need to build as much of. Let's go up to 20 for the motorized, I suppose, and just pull back on anti-air a bit. And, you know, let's just pull back on a lot of this. So we can really just kind of focus. I know that we, efficiency is an issue. I'm aware, guys. I'm aware. 
and just go up to 25 there as well. And that's, once again, resources, guys. <laughs> oh, we're the resources. Now, uh, the rubber should get better. I'm not going to trade for the rubber. Uh, hopefully that should get better soon. And just keep on spreading it out between our enemies, I guess. I'm not going to give any to Italy or Germany, though, for obvious reasons. Can't, don't need to help them out any further. All right, so we did get the H2s. Uh, let's go down the to get the H3s, uh, and then we'll start building them, I suppose. Yeah, we'll start building the H3s. Okay, uh, so again, almost done here uh, with the training. Uh, we're waiting on the naval bombers here to get completed. Uh, a lot of these fighters are almost done as well. They, they actually trained a lot faster. Oh, that's because we just put a, yeah, that's right. We just put another uh, 100 uh, planes into there, so that's what the issue is. Still not anywhere near enough fuel uh, for our purposes right now. All those planes flying overhead is, is costing us a lot of fuel. Uh, we can stop some of these though. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll have to move these guys around a little bit. Uh, actually, might as well do that now. Get them just coming over to here, just to get them out of the way. Uh, Lend lease offers. We will say no. In fact, um, oh, we have all our convoys. Excellent, we got our convoys back. So uh, let's assign these guys now. Was that not what was blocking it? Hmm, I wonder what happened here. Why can I not do this naval invasion? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Why well, can't assign, he's got no transports to, hmm, maybe he's gotta wait a little bit. I, Cause I thought it was the convoy situation what was what not let me assign them. Though even that, yeah, that doesn't typically cause problems either. You know what, I don't have any idea why we can't assign them. Now we can't send it, of course, we wouldn't be able to send it. Yeah, because it's not gonna stop us, the fact that we don't have any ships uh, out here patrolling, that would stop us from sending the invasion, but it wouldn't stop us from planning and, and assigning troops to it. That's like super strange. Oh shit, do we not have the naval invasion tech? Let me take a look here, guys. We might not even have the most basic naval invasion tech. <laughs> we do not. That's what the problem is. I didn't realize we didn't have that. Oh, yeah, that's right. P yeah, the PRC wouldn't stop. Or wouldn't start with that. Okay, so that's the next thing we need to get. I had no idea that we didn't have that. We'll do that with the tank one. Yeah, we'll do that with the tank one. Uh, and then this one will continue working on getting rubber and stuff. And uh, oil. So as you can see, we are still lacking by quite a bit. Uh, so let's go with more oil. And then once this one's done, we'll go ahead and use that one to get our first naval tech transport ships. I, I did not realize we didn't have that. Holy shit, Batman. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so once we get that, situation will be better. And anyway, we're not gonna ask, we're not gonna get anything from them. We, we wanna keep our convoys, it's fine. I mean, we're pretty good on equipment right now. Let them keep it, and they need it more than we do. We're not even assisting in the war right now. Uh, so yeah, Germany is, is gonna be a beast now. I just don't know how the allies are gonna be able to win this. But it's not my concern. I don't care. Uh, and I'm gonna look at these because if they're willing to send me convoys, I'll take that. Because we could end up having convoys sunk. I just don't know. I might end up losing convoys and such. We could always use the convoys to start trading. Uh, let me take a look and see how these planes are doing. Oh, they're all done. All right, um, well, one thing at a time. Socialist market economy has been gotten. Uh, so let's go ahead and I think we want to start getting the naval ones next. What's going on with Mongolia now that that war is done? Let me just take a look here. They are part of the Comintern. Are they the only member of the Comintern? They're the leader and the only one, so we'll want to conquer Mongolia next. All right, uh, so that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and get the focus to get uh, Mongolia. All right, so yeah, we're going to get this one. Uh, I was going to go with the Indian cooperation one, uh, but you know what, it's it's fine. Which then makes me want to go down Imperial Legacy because we won't be able to get most of these here. Yeah, and that one, yeah, there's no reason. You know what, there's really no reason to go down here. Yeah, we can't, we won't be able to get any of these if we do this here. All right, so yeah, we will go down the Imperial Legacy. That'll get us some stability as well, which would be helpful. Let's go ahead and get the Renounce, the Man line. Grab that up, and then we're gonna want to have a couple things we can do here. Uh, first of all, we can go ahead and, and, I mean, lose that stability, but at the same time, 
I, this is useful, uh, pretty useful for us. So we're gonna go and get that, it's fine. There's other ways to increase stability. In fact, one of those natural focuses will increase uh, stability. So we're gonna get that, uh, and was there something else? Oh yes, that's right, that, that uh, removed one of those national spirits we had too, so that'll improve the situation. We're at 26 days now until we run out of fuel. Oh yes, that's right, that's what we were doing before we had that event pop up. All right, so let's go and start bombing, guys. Uh, let's put these guys out into the LC. We'll see if we can hit anybody here. If not, we'll move elsewhere. We could also split these guys up uh, 100 and 100, uh, I suppose. Yeah, you know what? Let's split them up for right now until we can get uh, a larger amount of uh, naval bombers. Uh, so we'll take put one there, and then one will go probably pretty likely to find somebody here. All right, so let's do naval strikes. With these two, and we are going to do the more ground crews here. Might as well. And then let's go ahead and add uh, some fighters, fighter wings as well, to help them out. Uh, so we'll take these two. Uh, we probably don't want to fly them both, actually. We'll leave them one aside, but yeah, we got it. One thing we do have to consider at all times is the fact that uh, this is costing us. I doubt they're actually, you know what? They're probably not going to fly there. Let's send one over here. Oh, uh, yeah, this is costing us oil that we don't really have a lot of. Uh, we could trade for some oil. And you know what? Maybe we should. And we also have factories that are freed up and not doing anything. So let's go and build more synthetic refineries, I think. I think that's what we want to do. Yeah, let's build more synthetic refineries. <sighs> could use a lot more of these uh, so we don't have to trade as much for rubber and oil. And I'm just going for it right now. I'm really just going for the bonuses. Uh, but we will build around our area here just because. Up there. Oh, there's a 50% bonus there. Okay. Yeah, we'll just build a ton of these to try and fix our oil and, and rubber problem. Or as best as we can, anyways. We'll just have to see if that, that helps at all. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, is anybody done training? No, sir. Uh, and we'll have to see if those uh, bombers are effective. Let's take a look. Uh, we bombed them. Alright. Uh, almost got a destroyer sunk there. Yeah, well, well, we are bombing their navy. It's not its not a lot of planes. Oh, I should probably take a look. Oh shit, that was a loud ass fucking car going by, I apologize. I should take a look, we do have planes that can continue training here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them going out there now. And we will do, I guess we'll do more fighters first. And I'm not really, uh, you know what? Let's have, this guy can stay here. I am a little bit worried about us getting Overstacked here, so let's just do the naval bombers here. And you know what, the 200. I'll get both of these guys here training. And then we'll start uh, coming over to these other areas for training purposes. Because, yeah, I think we can get one more thing of fighters. I'm gonna put all those guys over there. There we go. Get these guys training too. Oh, we're probably gonna run out of fuel though. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and trade for some fuel, guys. I'm all being stingy and shit, trying not to trade for it. Uh, in fact, we can actually pull from some of the stuff that we're trading right now. So let's stop trading with the Hungarian so much. And also, well, we'll keep trading to France. They need this, the help. And then let's trade for some fuel, because yeah, we just, or oil, I should say, because yeah, we just don't have very much. Uh, let's trade with Iran. Let's do probably a lot, man. And we'll see how that looks. Still not quite there, so we're gonna trade a bit more. Uh, let's not give it all the same. Let's give some Dirac too. Spread the love around, man. And we'll see how we look there. Uh, and also take a look how that hap hurt our factory situation. Factory situation is pretty good. So we'll keep on trading. We need to get the oil stockpiled up. We have a lot of planes out there right now. Uh, so yeah, it would be probably wise to Really trade for quite a few of these. And how are we looking? There we go, we're in the positive now. Let's go and go up a bit more then. And it looks like we also sunk a destroyer. Awesome, so we sunk our first Japanese ship. That also gets our war score up. Remember you do get war participation for sinking ships. Uh, but that is actually gonna be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, we weren't able to do um, you know, invasions because they didn't have the damn tech. <laughs> so we're gonna get that in 54 days. Uh, also about to get this one done, which means that I think we'll go ahead and start 
building oh that's the y3s excuse me not the h3s uh so yeah we'll get those guys building but yeah i think once we get the h3s maybe we'll wait maybe we'll wait to get the h4s yeah might as well stacked on equipment i can't even build the the units fast enough uh because we're so stacked on equipment uh so we're going to get these guys building out a bit more and more crouching tigers just be stacked on equipment it's it's fine <laughs> or stacked on units uh, a lot of troops that are done here as well so we're gonna want to take like all these guys and just put them into that blue army for right now although we'll likely move them in fact let's just go put them into their own little separate army for right now and get them moving over to here uh though we still have more troops to add to it so yeah there's no reason to keep pumping into the to the yellow army here uh Move them over here. All right, so that's gonna be the end of the episode. Uh, definitely uh, got some. It's it's a long grind, guys, to try and get um, you know try and get us in a better situation here uh, in the air force. Uh, but as you can see, we already have. If we just take, like took it there, took a look at our air force here, uh, we currently have uh, two thousand something planes uh, compared to the Japan. Uh, we almost have more planes than Japan does. Uh, so. We really built up the Air Force incredibly quickly. Unfortunately, the Navy is not gonna build up that quickly, uh, but we're gonna start focusing on the Navy more now. Um, we're getting these focuses here so that we can get Mongolia into our control. And then after that, we'll go ahead and get the uh, the focuses for the Navy. Uh, so that's gonna be here. Although we could go down the Imperial Legacy as well to get that stability at the very least. I suppose that would be wise to get the stability. Yeah, so we could do that. And then we could also look at doing this one to see if they'll give it to us for free. Uh, I don't know what that mission does. Activates mission over lordship over Indochina. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe we'll be able to get control of that peacefully because they're in the same faction as us. So a lot of focus is left to go. We gotta get this one, we gotta get this one. And then if we did this and this. Yeah, if we did, uh, that's four before we'll start working on the Navy. All right. I don't know. We could go ahead and start researching Navy anyway uh, once we get all these texts done. Uh, we'll see. Love to hear your guys' opinion on the matter. Uh, so that is going to be the end of the episode. Um, just a long period of peace, pretty much. Uh, the next episode probably going to be the same. Uh, though we will have that tech, and we might launch a suicide invasion over here. Like a large suicide invasion. I mean, you can see how many troops we have. We have an insane number of troops. We'll just send the crappy divisions. Uh, we'll send like a large... Uh, large crappy uh, invasion and see if they can beat the there's probably like two divisions defending that board and we'll just see if we can win we'll see what happens we'll just send 10 divisions out there maybe they'll get sunk maybe they won't it's not like we have a problem with men so <laughs> i'm not worried about it uh, so we'll send a uh invasion that will probably be next episode and, and maybe we'll get japan knocked out that'd be awesome if we did and in which case then we'd leave the allies and yeah, I don't really know what's going to happen after Japan's knocked out. We'll see. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching, guys.